Welcome back everyone. Today is a massive day because we have got brand new clubs. I am very, very excited. We're gonna be opening these up and then we're going to be playing a full round with them. You'll see every shot and you'll see how I get on with brand spanking new clubs. I've got a full set of new irons and wedges from Carle and I've got to say a big thank you to them for sending them out. When I filmed with Adrian back at Finchley a couple of months ago, he has these clubs and I got to try them out and I absolutely love them. So I had to get myself a set. So without further ado, let's get those bad boys open. Oh, it's like Christmas. It's like blooming Christmas. Oh, look at this. There we go. Brand new clubs. I don't think there's any better feeling than this. Like you don't get to do this very often. So mm, let's get these unwrapped. So this is a set of four to pitching wedge. Carle 01T irons. We've got a KBS Torlite shaft in it, which is what I'm currently using in my irons. Oh man, I cannot wait to go and hit this thing. Look at that. They are so clean. First one in the bag. <laughs> Hello. Again, these things just look so clean. Just check that out, it's so clean. Like, I can't wait to go and hit these. Get that in the bag. Up. Oh, in it goes. Now I've got two minutes before my tea time and I've got to get all these unwrapped. So let's speed this up a bit. There we go. Check that out. Oh, it looks too good to be true. Woods are staying the same. There is a new putter, but we'll get into that later in the round. But these, oh, let's go get over to the first tee and go hit these bad boys for the first time. Okay, so today we're here at Chingford Golf Club. I've actually picked this course because it's not particularly long. It's actually more twisty, tight and technical, which means we're gonna hit more irons and have more of a chance to test them out. I have just been informed in the pro shop that it is off winter mats, which is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Let's see what we can do. Now, I wouldn't usually hit iron off this par four tee box, but we're here for one reason, one reason only, and that is to see if new clubs will actually instantly make you better at golf. So here we go. By the way, there are no nets and there's no range, so I've had absolutely no warm up, no practice. I've never hit this club before. Here we go. That'll do the job. It's up there in the fairway. Right, so we did find the fairway with our first shot. However, we are a little bit blocked out by this tree in front of us. Here's another four iron, so I don't want to say I'm going to try and cut it around the tree because I think that would be a mistake, but I'm just going to give it a, give it a hit and see what happens. That's pretty much what I was hoping for. Might just be a little bit short of the green. I did catch it a little fat. Some might say I missed the green on purpose so that I could have an opportunity to use these brand new wedges. To those people, I'd say, yeah, wink, wink. Yeah, you're right. Just, I mean, just check it out, guys. How nice is that? We've got 20 yards to the pin here, just off to the side. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. One, two, three. About 10 foot to safe par here. I think it's quite flat. Oh, we start off with a par. Come on. Things you absolutely love to see. All right, we are gonna take three wood here for this shot. Oh, I've snapped it a little bit left. Gotta get through those trees. Might be all right. Oh, there's a person there. Four! Now my playing handicap today is an eight, which is the lowest we've ever played off. That is a testament to how short the course is. My index is a nine and a half, so I always give the playing handicap, guys. So we don't have many shots to play with, I won't lie. We're gonna try and play to our handicap today. I've got to say, we've got some lovely conditions here today. Um, so we've got about 147 into the pin here. We're into a wind, so I'm gonna take a seven iron, which I'm gonna explain a little bit more about in just a second. That could be really good. It's right on it. Oh, that is so, we've got such a good birdie putt coming up, guys, come on. So I'm going to be taking a bit more club than I usually would. The reason for that is my old Cobra irons are quite strongly lofted. In fact, two degrees stronger than these clubs, which puts these kind of like halfway between each of the clubs. So the seven in this set is probably like an eight and a half a club in the old set. 
But distance really doesn't matter. It's all about dispersion anyway, and we have stuck it close. All right, now the main defense of this place is actually the greens because they are severely sloped. Like this thing is gonna move mad. It's about, probably about 12, 13 foot. I think just a two part here would be fantastic. Go on, keep rolling. Yeah, right idea, didn't just quite get it right. I mean, you would have seen me aiming about four foot to the right, but we'll take another par. Oh. I mean, we're off winter boxes, so I'm not surprised, but it's only 144 to that pin. Gonna hit this eight iron for the first time. See if I can find myself a line as well. Just looking for the middle of the green. Oh, felt so good. Little left. Oh, it's on though, we're putting, we're not far away. Man, this weather is absolutely beautiful. Still a little bit wet underfoot, because we're still getting a lot of rain, but I've managed to come out between the clouds clearing and we are living lavish. My skin, I'm actually thinking, you know what, burn me. Just burn me a little bit, I need to get some colour. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, we're about, we're about 18 foot from the pin, but I need it to go a lot further. Probably an extra two paces. So I need to hit this like about 24 foot, I think, because it's straight uphill. The greens are pretty slow. And it's gonna turn horrendously off the left-hand side. There's a chance. Oh, <gasps> no, look at it. Stop, stop, stop. We're almost as far away. <laughs> I don't even feel like that was a bad putt. I just don't think it was ever going to stop because Lord knows. Oh. <laughs> it literally fell in the back door. Oh, we're, uh, we're level par through three holes, come on. So it's shaping up like we will be able to go and record a round in Spain in the next couple of weeks, guys. So we'll get a nice round out in a different country and then I've got a round in Portugal with our first ever guest on the channel and you guys are gonna enjoy that. And then hopefully by the time we get back to the UK, it'll be full blown summer. Right, four iron straight up the pipe here. Oh, so good. I couldn't have placed that any better. And it's running, oh, this, I love these. I love this. Okay guys. Don't tell anyone what I might have just crashed the drone. Uh, it looks all right though. Got 87 yards into this pin, so hitting a 50 degree. Oh, I hit it fat. I wasn't very confident because I didn't know how hard I should hit it. <laughs> I can't really land it short because it looks really sludgy. I need to land it pretty much on it and then just have to try and two part, I think. Oh my God, that's almost, it is a little short, maybe by about half a foot, but I mean, we're pretty close. Got 12 foot for par. Uh, coming out of this fringe is pretty rough, so it could end up going anywhere, but. Yeah, it came out a bit right, that's fine. Wow, <laughs> almost missed that. Um, that is a tap in bogey to take us to one over through four holes. If I think I can get there in two guys with irons only, that's what I'm gonna do. And I don't think there's any issue in hitting an iron here, that's for sure. Just gotta make sure we don't let it leak out right. I mean, you guys can't see very much the joys of being on top of a mat, eh? Said to not let it leak let, right. Oh, and it's popped out, we're okay. We should still have a shot in from there as well. We got away with it somehow. We've come out of the trees, which is good, but we have now got this tree in front of us. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna hit a seven. Question is, do I want to try and shape it a little bit around this tree, give myself a, a little bit of space? Could do. Go on, I'll, try, I'll give it a go. I'll see if I can shape this one a little bit. I'm gonna try and, not slice it, but just fade it. Oh, it's come out dead straight. Sit. Oh my God. Well, I was not expecting that to happen. 
that is cannon straight into the trees on the left. I mean, talk about not taking advantage when you get lucky. This is what I seem to do every time. Get lucky, come out of the trees, proceed to go and just smash it straight into the next set of trees. I don't know if that'll be findable because that one looked like it went in, but we'll go have a look. I mean, this might be the luckiest thing ever. What are we saying? No, it's not. That is <laughs> a chewed up Callaway. I do love Chingford because you come out here in the evening and everyone from London comes and plays here. And I won't lie, there's a lot of hackers, which means there's a lot of balls to be found out here. Uh, the calls of four in the evening are plentiful, but we have once again got lucky because that is our ball right there. That is awful, Tom. That's a straight blade, guys. Could putt it, not going to. Too much fringe to contend with. Could go anywhere. Just gonna give it a little chip. Oh, go on. There's no way. That's outrageous. Maybe that's why you don't give yourself tap-ins because you miss them. Now, it might sound like I'm making excuses here, but that did actually come off a big chunk of mud just in front of the ball and go straight left. So, um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's a double, little bit disappointed with that, but equally it could have been a lot worse because I mean, it could have just gone and got lost in the trees and we had to use a new ball. Now off this winter tee box, this one's not particularly long, but um, there's a big tree that I don't think I can really actually get over to try and get to the green. Uh, so I'm gonna hit four iron up the right hand side of the fairway here. Just leave myself with a short one in. That'll do. Yep, that is fine. We're up there. I might have said it was fine too soon. We have literally just avoided going down into the ditch here. Flag isn't far away though, so we do have an unobscured shot. I'll put you guys up there uh, to see some magic. Right, 40 yards here. Just gotta make sure we get clean contact as well. Try not to bin it in the bunker too. Might be short. Yeah, inhibited backswing. Okay, we could potentially make that putt. Right, six foot here, so the par. Nice, we save it, we got lucky there. Okay, what you can see in front of us now is a par three. It's about 100 to 120 yards long. <laughs> this mat is not flat in the slightest. That could be really good. It's fading off a little bit. We are dancing though. I mean, you might say that we had a shaky couple of holes there with the irons, but considering I've never hit them before, literally they're fresh out of the box, guys. I think we're having a flyer here. All right, we've got a 30 footer up the hill. Probably gonna hit it more like it's 35. Make sure it gets there. That is a very, very poor putt. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right. Oh, I thought we were about to stop the bleeding, but it just keeps on going. We've used up half our shots for our handicap through the first six holes, I think. I'm not going to lie, guys. I am a little bit rattled. I managed to crash the drone on, I think it was hole number four and snap the arm off. So I've got that playing around in my head just a little bit and working out how I'm gonna try and fix it before tomorrow, but I think I need to order a part. So I've kind of got a lot going on. So we now have about a 350 yard par four. Don't need to hit driver, but I do want to. Oh, well left! I mean, it's totally open down there, so we'll find it. Just miles and miles away from the pin. Here's my plate. This flipping tree, um, can't go over it. Not when I need to go 200 yards. Can't really go under it. So I'm thinking that I might try and swing it round. There's loads of space out to the right. So even if it doesn't go right, like that attempted fade last time, it doesn't matter because we'll still be able to find the ball. <laughs> Look, my dad's over there. Oh, not my ball. Uh, thank you. <laughs> 
Well, that has not come round at all. <laughs> well, like I said, if it didn't work, we're going to be pretty close. <laughs> not really what we wanted. 50 yards into the pin here. I swear every pin has been at the front so far. Onto a down slope, so it could run off the back quite easily. But I can't really land it short because it's wet. Oh, that is absolutely, that's got to sit. That's absolutely phenomenal. I won't lie, guys, absolutely phenomenal. I've just watched a beetle crawl into the hole on the side that I'm going to put the ball in. Just envisaging my ball going into the cup like that beetle. Ah, it doesn't envisage it enough. All right, that's another bogey. Got some real bogey golf going on right now. All right, next up we have a straight up 511 yard par five, straight all the way down to the flag at the very end of that corridor. That's absolutely perfect. Straight down the middle. All right, we hit a good one there. 265 yards down the fairway. Got 230 left to the pin, so we're gonna hit three with this, see if we can get on in two. Well, that has not gone 230 yards, has it? That has gone well, probably about 150, but it'll work. Can't lie, loving the weather right now. A little bit of prime in the sun. Abu Dhabi's not sponsored. 130 yards, winds off the right a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hit nine, make sure I get there. Oh, it's a little left, pulled it a little. Find the green, sit. All right, it's on the left fringe. Right, it's a little downhill. Pretty much straight at the pin. I wanna land it in that, kinda of land it in that spot there, halfway to the flag. Didn't quite land it far enough on. There's a decent strike, I just didn't give it enough. Ah, uh, we've had a lot of lip outs today. It's all right. Okay. All right, I believe this is the hardest hole on the course. We've got a par five. It's got a ditch that runs diagonally across the fairway. The very end point is about 350 yards away, but you can land it in the ditch, probably anything about 200 and above. So we need to make sure we give this a wide berth. That is very good. Yeah, that's right in the fairway, good stuff. All right, despite a decent drive, we've still got a long way into this pin, just purely because we're playing into wind. Um, now this stream that's on the right here, I need to keep myself left of it. So I'm gonna hit an eight iron up the left-hand side, and that should leave me an unobscured vision into the pin, because we've got this big line of trees on the right that are kind of obstructing it at the moment. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, hello. Hold on. Very nervy shot because there's always a chance that you get it wrong and end up in the brook. We did unfortunately take a little bit of a rotten kick and it's pushed us really far right and back into the line of the trees, but I don't think they should be a problem. Oh my God, that's four left. Okay, it's safe. It came down just under the tree. We've got to get up and down again. Not to say that we've had many up and downs today, but there's always hope. And also, I feel like I can get on and have a bit more of a clear mind for the rest of this round because I've ordered the parts that I need for the drone. Hopefully, they arrive early tomorrow morning so I can fix it before I need to record Bandit's content in the afternoon. Sit, 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 sit now, sit now, sit now, sit now, sit now, sit now. Almost hit the, the camera. <laughs> All right, so it's 24 foot, breaking hard off my right, your left. It's not bad, it's not great. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> I am just not in the right head space right now. Sometimes this does happen when you're out on golf, guys. Like something will happen that will, I mean, maybe you get a text message from your missus, maybe you get an email from work or something, and it just 
oh, everything stops clicking. I don't think we're playing particularly bad. In fact, I think it's probably some of the best iron striking I've had in a long time. I'm just not, it's just the fine margins that I'm not getting right at the moment. <sighs> Threw my irons at it. It's all right though, because it opens up around the corner. Now I did make a reference earlier about there being plenty of choppers coming in from London to this course in the evenings. And I don't think that's particularly fair because let's face it, I'm a chopper as well. Now the weather is absolutely glorious. I'm actually regretting having trousers on right now. Not in a way like I'd rather be naked, but in a way that I wish I'd put shorts on. How has that happened? I was out last, yeah, literally less than 24 hours ago, I was out recording with bandits. We were freezing, we were soaking, and it was really windy. Today, it's warm, it's wonderful, and I've got a sweat on. Okay, I see it. All right, I've got a sight on it. All right, I'm gonna hit a seven iron here. I can't remember where it was now. It's just right at that big tree over there. I'm gonna aim at that big tree because I reckon this one might come out a little bit from right to left. Ah, I caught it a little bit fat. It's going though, I don't mind it. Well, at least I thought I fatted it, but I'm looking at it now and it's the back edge of the green. Uh, so thank God I didn't, in what I see in my nine handicap eyes as pure in it, because yeah, otherwise it would have been out the back. Okay, I'm starting to think this would be a really good two putt because we are 54 foot away. <laughs> what world do I think I'm gonna make a two putt? Go, go. I don't think I could have hit that any harder. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right. All right, there we go. So next up we have got a par four. As the crow flies, it's 322 yards to the pin and it dog legs round to the right. Might run out of fairway there. It's bouncing. All right, I've seen it stop, so we'll be all right there. We're just over in the rough on the left-hand side. It's a pretty good lie, to be fair. It's sitting up quite nicely. Got about 85 yards into this pin. It's at the front. All of them have been at the front, which I'm not sure I'm all that keen on. That's pretty good. Sit there. Yeah, the green slopes from front to back, so it's literally run all the way to the back. I thought that was almost perfect, but we're, we're out here trying. There's another long one, guys. We've got 14, 30, 42 foot for birdie. But it's a birdie putt nonetheless, so can't really be upset with that. I think I've hit it too hard now, haven't I? Stop. Oh, it's a better attempt than the last one. There we go, we two putt. Happy days. Now this par three isn't something you see every day because there really isn't actually a shot to take at the green. Like you can see that there's just trees. You just have to hit them over the trees onto the green. Right, again, the pin is at the front. So I'm gonna hit a seven iron here. Oh, caught that so pure. Little right. In terms of strike, couldn't be any happier with that. Yeah. Tell you what, if we hadn't pulled that, we are so pin eye, it's unbelievable. It's not great. Kind of uh, ended up hitting the floor just after the ball, so I couldn't follow through. Yeah, didn't give it enough. Was offline as well. That's a bogey. I thought we were finally off the bogey train, but we're straight back on it. Next up, as the crow flies, we have a 306 yard par four. Dog legs down to the left and round the corner. So I'm um, gonna hit a four iron into the gap and then, uh, and then just have a short iron or wedge down into the green. Oh, lost that one a bit, right? Okay, it might be slightly longer into that green than I first thought, but it's all right. I'm not sure how I've managed this, guys. I've got like, 200 yards left in. I've hit it so far right. Luckily, we kind of have a shot because green is literally just over the edge of the left bush. 
Uh, it's very left. Oh, blimey. I'm lucky it didn't go in the little stream that's down there, to be fair. I've just walked over here and the GoPro stopped. So I'm not sure if you got that shot and you probably won't believe me, but we're currently there. We were all the way back over there in the rough and uh, I bladed it and uh, it's run to about three foot. So believe me if you want, <coughs> it doesn't bother me. Probably one of the luckiest bad shots I've ever had. What was it that we were saying a couple minutes ago about taking advantage of good luck and making it count? We have to put this one in. There we go. Right, a par. It's not over yet. Now it's a funny old game, isn't it? Because last week the thing that I was doing really well was short game, so putting and chipping, and it saved me like tens of strokes last week. This week is completely the reverse. The worst part of my game last week is now the best part, so striking irons. It's just a funny old game, isn't it? This is a 312 yard par four. Um, it kind of narrows up just where driver would land, so I'm gonna rifle a four iron up there. Hopefully we don't get to that closing, and if we do, we've rifled it straight down the middle. So that, that's, the, that's the plan here, guys. Might get blocked out there. Sit. Oh no, I think we'll be fine. We're in the fairway. Now to throw it back to the start of the video, I'm not hating on Cobra because I did really enjoy those clubs. The thing is that my swing has evolved quite a bit since when I got fitted for them last year. Like if you think that when I got fitted for those, number one, I'd just come back from injury. I was probably playing off more like 19 or 20 as a handicap. I had a big long swing. I was trying to hit like a really spinny draw. And what they did to help me with that is they like, they actually flattened the clubs out, which when you do that, I believe it might expose the hosel a little bit more than if they're just sort of like standard upright. So I used to get a lot of problems where I would, you know, hit poor shots where I'd hit the hosel. It would be really, really on the heel, very heel biased a lot of the time. And so I've been wanting to get back to a set of clubs that are more upright for, for a long, long time. I won't lie, probably like six months. And like, I think after about three months of having those clubs, I realized that I was actually kind of fighting what the clubs were designed to do. So it was like two positive ends of a battery trying to push against each other, those clubs in my swing. But that's not to say that they're bad clubs. Little fact for you, if you see a golf club in London that has these like, I don't know what they're called, they're like undulations, loads of them. I'll tell you a story as to why they're there. You'll see this a lot in London actually. And the reason for it is because golf courses kind of look like runways if you look at them. Like people could fly their planes quite happily and land on them. Now, in, during the war, they didn't want that because they didn't want like German bombers and stuff landing here, taking off, having a break, having a cup of tea, whatever the heck they were doing, flying off and bombing somewhere in London. So they put these like big rivets in because it will rip the wheels off the planes when they're trying to land. Or at least that's what I've been told. Let me know if I'm wrong. I'm gonna go full pitching wedge here. A bit left. Hopefully it'll bounce right because it all contours that way. It did bounce right, just not, not, that much, not that much. Now we've got a fantastic video coming for you next week, guys. We are going to be playing the hardest course in the UK. We're going to play the Hodgkins course at Woodall Spa. This place has like 140 bunkers. I played it before. I think I shot like 98. So if you want to see me struggle, well, you know you need to subscribe so you don't miss that video. Right, 20 yards to the pin, aiming right of it because it's going to trickle down to the left. Now stop. Yeah, it's not bad. Turn. It's like putting on the side of the mountain, he said, and then it doesn't turn really at all. <laughs> Story time. Let's talk about the putter. This is a Lab DF3 putter. Thank you so much to Lab for sending this over to me. They've hooked us up big time because these things ain't cheap, but they are absolutely fantastic. But I do need to set the scene with this one because I've not putted particularly well today. Now I wouldn't say that's necessarily the putter's fault because last week we used the same putter and we had 31 putts, which is pretty much a record number of putts for me. So this is the third video I'm using this putter. However, this is only the second time I've ever used this exact 
putter. Now, what I mean by that is I had exactly the same putter, but slightly different. So effectively, when you get one of these putters, you do a fitting video where you kind of measure the length of your putter. You take a video of you doing some strokes with your current putter. They do some calculations and they give you all the recommendations for the sort of like angle and the length of the putter. Now, I'm not gonna say who, but someone might have made a mistake when giving the, uh, the length of the original putter. So they actually sent one out and it was a little too short by about two inches. Now, at first I thought that was me just not knowing how to use this new putter, but I gave them a message and said, oh, is it supposed to be like this? Am I supposed to be using it differently? They said, no, there's been a mistake made. So big up to them. I've sent them back the other one and they've sent out a brand new one, which is the right size for me but it's just taking a little bit of time to get used to. So I think we won't judge the putter on today's performance. Let's give it like three, four videos and then we'll decide if this thing is as good as they say it is. Now this next hole is a par four and it's about 250 yards long. You do have to take it over the top of the trees though. And since we're on YouTube and I could really use getting a birdie or better on the scorecard, we are gonna go for it. Oh, that is over. All right. I mean, it was drawing a little bit, so I'm not overly sure if it's good, but I didn't hear any tree hits, so that's a good sign. All right, it's not worked out as well as I hoped. I've caught this rough stuff in front of the green. We've got 35 yards left to the pin. You kind of have to take this one a little bit high as well. Get over that hump. Oh, Tom. Tom, 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 Tom. Yep, chance of saving the par. All right, it's a bogey. All right, next up we have a par four. It is a dog leg to the left, um, about 300 yards. So I'm gonna hit. Ooh, that's my first bad shot of the day. The first really, really bad one. And that is kind of my common miss. I won't lie, getting it a little bit thin. Right, here's the plan. I'm gonna draw it in there, make a birdie. I mean, you've got to give it to me. I am a funny guy, aren't I? <laughs> Who do I think I am? Right, how do we draw? Foot back. Feel like we're coming round from the inside. Oh, that is so good. It'd be amazing. Wait, where is it? I've just seen it go about 50 yards long. Pardon? I'm gonna stab this one forward because I haven't really got the best stance or the best lie. That is so bad. Oh, it's falling apart, guys. All right, we might get it, we might get it down. All right, we need a one part eventually, don't we? Come on. Please? All right. <clears throat> okay, okay. Not gonna lie guys, vibes are high. I mean, it's been an up and down round. We haven't played particularly well in the short game, which is where you really need to be playing well if you wanna score well, but that's fine. All I'm thinking in my head is, when can I get out next and hit these irons some more? I'm like, can I go to the range tonight? Can I go and play golf tomorrow? Can I go and play golf every day this weekend? I can't, but I want to. All right, to finish off, we've got a shortish par five. Um, gonna hit drive and see if we can get there in two. Yeah, snapped it left a little. It's all right. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, it's time to rate my game, guys. The four categories that you're gonna score me out of 10 today are, of course, driving, approach play, short game, and putting. I already know that Oh, you guys are gonna absolutely obliterate me on some of those scores. It's gonna be crazy. I don't even know if you can rate me for driving this week because we've only hit driver, I think, four times. Hit it twice really good and twice really bad. Maybe three times really bad. All right, so here's my ratings. Driver, if I hit it five times that I can remember, um, I would give myself, well, I only hit it good twice, so four out of 10, maybe even three because the bad ones were really bad. Iron play, I've got to say, it's probably the best I've hit in a long time. A long time. Is that a placebo effect or is it actually the club? Well, 
and we'll have to keep on playing with them to find out. But I'm giving most myself an 8.5 out of 10. And of course, this is on a scale of me, not of like of all golf, because otherwise I'd still be a one against like tour pros and stuff. Chipping, flipping act two, putting, three, out of push. I mean, we just about hung on right on the edge of the fairway. It's not where we wanted to be. Screw it, I'm hitting hybrid. It's like 220 away. It looks like it's miles. Got to air it out to the right, much safer than going left. All right, well, at least we don't have to hit any more fair. I'm not hitting, um, guys, honestly, I genuinely think I'm not going to hit a fairway wood for a long time in these videos because it just, well, it, it's soul crushing. It's actually embarrassing at this point. Oh, he's absolutely pured it. It's a little right at target, but hey, that's, that's not bad there. I don't mind that at all. All right, 13 yards for a birdie. You gotta say, I'm a funny guy. I'm a funny guy, aren't I? <laughs> for a birdie. All yeah, right, let's see if we can get this one. Moderately close. Well, it's gonna run on a little bit. All right, 15 foot to finish this one off. Come on, Tom. Let's finish with a bang, eh? We have lipped out a lot today, to be fair. There we go. It's another bogey to finish off what has been a bogey-filled day, and that does put us to 15 over for the day. Do new clubs make you instantly better at golf? Potentially not. Potentially, my irons were so good today. They really, really were. So I've absolutely loved it. The putter is a work in progress. Yesterday I shot really well with it, today not so well. If you have enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more from me, well then just click right here.